people welcome back again to my class so in today's video i'm going to show you how to weave around this plate okay so i said we actually want this video really badly so this is the outside i've lived one side and this is how it looks like so i'm going to read the other side and that's how i'm going to show you how to do it that's the same thing i'm going to do at the other side and so i need, we need two pair of plates and we need this one too uh, fish line when you're doing this the best option to the best call to use is point seven okay point seven is a little it's not really take out like the eight one and most because of how this design is done so you actually need point seven to do it but then i have point eight now so that's what i'm using i didn't get point seven when i went to town so please note that i had to get point seven if i want to do this design so that you don't find yourself wanting whilst doing it so i'm going to cut some parts of like i'm going to cut my fish line i don't measure my fish line so i can't give it that fit but then um because you don't want to maybe stop along the line and then be fixing in you can cut it very long it is better when you are beginning this whole thing you start with a longer thread so that at least even if some remains at the end of your work you won't find yourself wanting so i have my pair of scissors that i'll work with so let's Moisture into the video, and then I'm gonna. Put, you can start anywhere since you you don't actually know where. There's a circle. It doesn't really have any dimension or anything, so you can start anywhere you want. So guys, for this video, I have to use a pack of these. A pack will be enough for this particular video. So you can get the pack. Then I have some remaining ones, so I'm using this one too. So what you do is you have two fish line here. You put one bead on this. Just like how we did the other one. You put one bead on this. Because Okay, so this one you just need three beads. Instead of the other one, like the normal bag we start with four beads. This one you need three beads to start with. So it was something like this. And then you go under the next the next hole this is the next one so you go on the next that one and then you do same for the other side because the cord is really long that's why i am i want to take my time doing this So this is the next hole, this one, this is the next hole, so you put the cord here, you just intercross the cords in every next hole, you just have to intercross. So we want it in a way that this is up like so, these two are on the other side, so that's how it's going to be now. So the same thing, you pick one on the left, then you're going to pick one. And then you're going to cross it. So it's three things to work. I'm going to finish that and then I'll come and show you make sure. Take your time when you're working with a very long cord because it's, it's really tiring doing that thing. I don't really like working with it, but this instance, I don't have any, <laughs> I don't really have any choice but to work with it. So make sure, okay, 
and please tighten it whilst you're doing it okay tighten it whilst you're doing so this is the same process we're going to do throughout so you get well you can leave the num any space that you want with this one i left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i left ten space here so where you started is not part so i'm going to leave the same space i left this here if i make one to be more than the other when you are joining the box you find you find yourself wanting so please make sure that um that's the same number of holes you left here that's the same number of holes you're going to leave here okay so please take note of that okay okay so guys i'm following you with all the round it just repeats the same step so i left i sorry you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so i left ten here because that's how i did for the other one and so i'm just going to interlock it and then we start a new row so basically this is the last one i made so i just go through some of the bees and then we lock it okay so So you just interlock it. That's what I'm going to do now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a knot here because I want it to be very tight and firm. So let me create a knot here. So now we're done with the first part. I'm going to begin with the second part. That is weaving all of that. So I'm going through this particular thing. So I pick three of the bees. One, two, three, and then I cross it. And so I'm moving to this direction. So, so I pick two again. So like, you know how you do the normal paper? This is how you're going to do this. The first one is the lead, the rest is 2-2. Two, two. So I'm gonna go into this bead. So take notes of this. You realize the first AM with the six-sided beaded bag I made with the same plate. I went to this direction. I didn't go into this direction. So make sure you can do the reversible way, but then this is the right thing to do. So so I'm going to this direction throughout. The other one, I was leaving to this direction, but this time around, I'm going to this direction. So take note of that, okay? Um, I, I just wanted you to see the difference between the two bags and like how to make the whole thing. So, so I'm Make sure you tighten it whilst doing it, okay? Make sure you really tighten it so that it will be beautiful. If you're losing it, um, it won't be nice. So make sure you really tighten it when you're doing it. So you just pick two, you cross one, and then it's just like now we've reached like the normal back thing, <laughs> making the normal back. Okay, so guys, I'm going to continue with the whole thing. And then later on, I'll come and show you how to make a turn. Then you get to this side. So just repeat this two, two steps throughout. Just repeat. Just
just repeat the same step to get here and then i'll come and show you what is next okay so guys i'm almost done with the first part this is how it looks like okay so So this is what we have and then we just pick two because you're making a tent so two other this is the inner one this is the outside part so just two on the outside cut because we want to make a tent okay so this is what we have at the end of the day so I tied this. We pick three again. Because you're making a ten. And then we curse this one. Now the rest to be two to just like how we did the other one. You press. So basically we're going through all of these things. So I'm going to also continue doing it till I end here. I come to end here and then we'll go to the next stage. Okay, so guys, I'm almost done with the last part. I'm showing you how to go about it. So I'm doing the last part one. So you put two beads and then you crush it. So we're going to make a turn here too. Um, but then if you want it bigger you can add some of the lines to it i mean you can go all over again so if you think maybe joining the two it will be smaller you can add as many as you want to add to it to it so what i'm going to do is um i'm not going all around i'm not going all around again i'm going to join the two together like so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to interlock the remaining cords and then i'll cut a different cord for us to start a new thing so guys i'm going to join the two together like so so what i'm going to do is to put my cord into this side this particular bead here Put one bead on, okay, and then I'm going to get back to this particular bead. So, there's the side. so what we do is we pick one bead. I cross it with this particular one like so. <laughs> so, you can see. so 
So you pick one, you press it, okay. So basically we're moving through the side by side beads. That's what the whole thing, the whole process. So you pick one. And then you cross it. Put it in this bead. This is it. So you're going to continue the whole process to get to the end. So one thing I forgot to tell you is, please make sure you count, you count this one with this one. Make sure everything is intact. Make sure you left the same space here and the same space here. Else one will be more than the other. And then when you're joining it, you could see that if you make a mistake joining it, it wouldn't be the same thing and you have to redo it all again so make sure what you left here is the same thing make sure all the beads are the same you know number of the same number before you join it together like so so i'm going to continue with this one and then we'll add the handle part to it okay so guys um i'm kind of done with the bag so this is it i close the side So all the sides are closed now. And we're going to weave the handle. You can get handles and then you know you weave around the side. Or oh, basically I'm going to make a shaped handle using the scales. This is the color, this is the size, the only size I have around. So that's what I'm going to use for the handle to show you. I showed you in the first video how to put maybe a plastic handle or anything like that to it. So this time around is a different type of handle. And I'm using um I don't have the um the open lock, yeah, the one we use for bag handles, I don't have that at the moment. So I'm using this particular um, ring it's for key holder rings, okay? So that's it. I just want to take this off and then we will talk about it. Okay, so guys, I have the two rings here. So what I'm going to do is to put my card in side like so like this and then i'm just going to put the beads on because it's just a single bead so as many and then as long as you want it i'm just putting it on So I actually placed 20 of the space on it and then I'm gonna go beneath this because you're going to create a knot in between so I'm just going to do that so I'm gonna go through the bead okay after creating a knot you go through some of the beads before you cut it so that it will be firm okay so we're done with the handle now we move straight to the side of the bag i'm going to do one and i'll show you how to make so we're going to weave around the side and then we put our handle there okay so guys we're going to find the middle bead this is the middle one because i can't see one two three four five so this is the middle one we're going to start from this particular bead the third bead from the middle one so what we do is we put So what we do is we put one bead on this one, another bead here, and then we cross one. We are making something like, you know, a cage to put our handle in it. So we have one, like a note, okay, another one here, 
and then the crust bud. Oh shit. We have one here, one here, and then a crust bud. Okay, so the third one we're going to do, we're not going to cross. What we do is particularly to put one bead on this one, another bead on this one here. And now we pick our handle. I've already fixed the other side, so we pick our handle. And then we go through. So we're going to join it together here. Yeah. This is the middle bead. So we go here like so. And then we do this one too. Okay. So the rest of the work is you just interlock it. You go through some of the beads make your knots remember to make your knots just to tighten it and you know, that's it so mind you i don't have a ninth handle i just have pearls around that's amazing pearls so you can get any nice handle or you can go with the wooden or the you know the silver type of handle to make your own handle just be creative with it because i did one i wanted to do a different one for you to see so I'm just going through some of the beads, you just have to do that. So um, you can add, you know, a long chain to it. If the person wants to hang it like, you know, the shoulder, you can add a long chain to it. If the person wants to carry it like this, the person can carry it like this. You just have to look it this around the side and then your chain is there. But this would be like a permanent handle for her if she wants to carry it like this. So it's like this, the whole thing about the style. Um, I've done two videos for you so you can learn from both and then know your mistakes, correct it, and then discard that. So, thank you all for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.